today, our lesson for today is all about domain and range of logarithmic function. In this video, students will be able to Number one, find the domain and range of a logarithmic function and represent the domain and range using set notation. So what is the domain of the logarithmic functions? This is our definition. The logarithmic function is defined only for positive values of a argument. If the logarithmic function is y is equal to the logarithm of x with base b, then the domain of the logarithmic function is x is greater than 0 or 0 to positive infinity. While the range of the logarithmic function is whatever base we have for the logarithmic functions, the range is always all real numbers. So, laging tatandaan, ang range ay laging all real numbers from negative infinity to positive infinity. Steps in determining the domain of the logarithmic functions. The first one is you need to set up an inequality showing the argument greater than 0. Solve for x and write the domain in interval notation. Let us have an example. Find the domain and range of the function f of x is equal to the logarithm of x plus 3 with base 2. So what we're going to do first is you need to rewrite your argument into inequality which is greater than 0. Your argument here is x plus 3. When we say argument, ito yung, uh, sa yung logarithmic function na may variable na x. Then your argument ay gagawin nyo siyang inequality and greater than 2, 0. That's why our argument here is x plus 3. So and after that, transform your positive 3. That's why from positive 3 will become negative 3. That's why your x is x is greater than negative 3. So meaning, your domain here is negative 3 up to positive infinity. Ibig sabihin, from negative 3 to positive infinity. While your range is all real numbers. From negative infinity to positive infinity. Para mas malinaw, this is the given um, graph of the given logarithmic functions. Kung mapapansin, negative 3 papunta kay positive infinity or from positive infinity to negative 3 but never touches to negative 3 Let us have another example. Find the domain and range of the function f of x is equal to the logarithm of 5 minus 2x with a base of 10. So this is our solution. Again, get your argument which is 5 minus 2x to greater than 0. Then after that, perform. So bring down negative 2x and then from positive 5 will change into negative 5. Next one, you need to divide both sides by negative 2. Then, negative 2 divided by negative 2 is x. Then, negative 5 divided by negative 2 is positive 5 over 2. And then, remember, pag nagde-divide tayo both sides by negative numbers, yung ating inequality symbol ay magpapalit. From greater than will change into less than. That's why the value of our x is x is less than 5 over 2. Meaning our domain is from negative infinity to positive 5 over 2. So meaning, ang lahat ng values ng domain dapat ay from positive 5 over 2 hanggang negative infinity. Kaya less than 
positive 5 over 2. And our range is all real numbers. Tandaan, laging ang ating range is all real numbers. If you want to show the graph, this is the graph, kung mapapansin, from positive 5 over 2 to negative infinity. Again, another example, find the domain and range of the function f of x is equal to the logarithm of 2x minus 4 with a base of 3. So, this is our solution. Again, our argument here is 2x minus 4. So, 2x minus 4 is greater than 0. Then, bring down 2x. Then, from negative 4 will become to positive 4. Then, divide both sides by positive 4. 2. And 2 divided by 2 is x and 4 divided by 2 is 2. That's why the answer is x is greater than 2. So meaning the domain is from positive 2 to positive infinity. And our range is all real numbers. And this is the graph. From positive 2 to positive infinity or from positive infinity to positive 2. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and share and subscribe to Teacher Ren TV. Thank you.